Hello guys, this is so Hello. weird. <laughs> talking to the screen, it's not right. It really isn't right, but it's the only thing we've got. You may hear some trains in the background because I've got the window open, but I'm not coming in there. <laughs> it's too warm today. It's too too warm. Warm. Right. So, a few days ago, Merlin released a document about it's called COVID-19 protecting our guests and employees summer 2020. What is summer? <laughs> At this so point, we know summer. Yeah. Right. So we're just going to go through it and discuss it, what we think. Uh, from what I read about it, it does sound, it does sound all right. Um, Sounds reasonable considering yeah. how many people will be there. It's going to be a big, big gathering. Yeah. Well, not uh, as they, will, Go on. they will limit the capacity. Yeah, I was literally about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put where I can, I'll put it on the screen uh, in between us. So I'll move this third page. So basically, before you arrive, it says make sure you book online. So that's what we do anyway, isn't it? Really? Yeah, well, we can't because we have million, well, I have a million passes, but um, I think you can. We could book online if I have a million passes. Oh, no, you can't. Have you have a nights, but not, not normally. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it says, please. Yeah, that'll so be interesting to see how they, they, they do that. Then. Yeah, yes. but it says, please make sure you book online where possible. Yeah, that's true. So, it could mean they are still opening ticket areas, but I mean, you might go there and they say we've already got them out tickets for today. You can't come in. Yeah, exactly. Without... I don't think that's a very good idea because people could drive the park. Say, oh no, sold out. Sorry. But people, that's that used to happen before. People were just coming to the park to buy tickets. Yeah, yeah but now, but if you think they're probably going to hop, probably. Only have like a quarter of the capacity in the parks. I think it does say later on. Yeah, yeah, it just says it's significantly reduced capacity. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, before even having to check the social media website, you can see that anyway. Please make sure you use contact with bank cards. I do that already because I don't carry cash anymore. <laughs> yeah. But it does say rather than cash where possible because obviously yeah. some people aren't going to have contactless cards or anything. I think everyone, 99% of people have contact us now. Yeah, most people will, but I mean, there will be that occasional case where there won't be. No, there won't have anyone. If recommended or required by local health authorities, uh, please bring suitable face masks and coverings. Necessary face masks. Oh, yeah. They might have just what they deem as a suitable face mask. Yeah, we've got to remember that Merlin owned theme parts around the world as well. Yeah. So. We might not. We might not be. Why not requiring? We might. Yeah, the UK might not say, "Oh, you have to do it," but you know, wherever Ghana, because okay. do you do it? Yeah. Not going to you, yeah. Uh, and face masks will be available on attractions at our attractions where, if you should require one, hopefully they won't charge like ten pound for them. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> probably will. <laughs> Oh, they're customised, they don't mind, mind, but... Just use it, won't they? They'll go, oh, I'll have one, oh, I'll have one, oh, I'll have one, and they'll have like, five in the back. But I found a website where I can get, like, customised ones. But anyway, that's the same subject. Uh, we probably request that do you refrain from visiting, visiting our attractions should you start displaying any symptoms of COVID-19? That is just basic common sense. Yeah, yeah, if you're uh, feel, you know, kind of thing, yeah. I think that should happen anyway. It's, yeah, I'm worried about coughing because every time I cough, and they look at me like so, yeah. <laughs> and I can't help it. So, I'm a bit worried about that. <laughs> uh, they've also said that temp temperature checks may be required for guests and staff, uh, parking going to be different. Yeah, you know, uh, just if there's a reduced capacity, there's going to be loads more spaces anyway. Yeah, I guarantee there'll still be some people parking next to other cars when they really should be. 
Well, no, because it says please follow the instructions. So they might. I, I would assume they're going to be someone guiding you like normal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If they, uh, they keep the premium parking open, or they'll just have it just disabled. Um. God, we have disabled people can't park next to each other like before. They might have yeah. to close, just close that whole that whole park into nothing. I, I don't. I don't think premium will be open. I think it will be disabled or not or the park. At Alton Towers, but uh, anyway, a mile away. Social distance is measures within our attractions. Uh, they say that uh, they're going to be segregated. There's going to be people looking at how they can make sure that social distance is still happening. Yeah. Uh, and social distance in queues, clear markers. Uh, with every ride and attraction, restrooms, dining queues. Uh, Getsky says this is one another. My employees also mon man will also monitor the queues. Yeah. Uh, restaurants, and this is interesting. I'll think about Rural Pleasure Restaurant the other day. I'm not sure how they're going to do that with Rural Pleasure Restaurant. So they, they can't they be able just to be, it's usually three, three groups per table, isn't there? Three groups of four yeah. per table. Uh, so it might be just. A group at the table. I think that's the only way they can do it. Yeah. Which means the queues will be even longer if people want to go to a coast restaurant. Well, not if the capacity is like only a quarter of what they normally do. Yeah, but there was queues when there's a full thing, uh, and there was, that was every everything had queues really. So. Yeah, but actually, if there's so social distancing in the queue line as well. It's gonna. It's gonna be. Weird. Mm. I do think it will work. If they, if they get the right capacity, it'll be fine. If they up the capacity too much, well, obviously, Old Tower can probably have a bit more because they're a bigger park and, and there's more space for people to spread out. Whereas that full park is quite a small park. Yeah. So they're probably going to have to have a lot less capacity. So suggestions on Rye is going to be interesting with throughputs. I, I don't think we should really worry about that. I think we're going to have to do what it does reduce capacity in a way. Yeah. Just with all the social distancing in the, in the, in the restaurant center, if that's the only main thing, because let's say a restaurant can deal 100 people and you have to social distance the main do 20 people, which means that people aren't going to be rushing out or going in as quick. There's going to be queues going up there. I reckon that's the main issue is going to be with restaurants rather than ours. I personally, I don't think a lot of people will be going to theme parks straight away. No, no, but I mean, like when when it starts ramping up and people do go to restaurants. Uh, yeah, we have installed new hiding screens in many of our service counters and food stalls to help physical physically separate the guests from employees. We have introduced capacity limits for our indoors experiences and it's basically like all the all the shops, restaurants and a lot of my cameras decided to fall down. So Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be very hard to social distance at Mantuzord and I can't see Mantuzord reopening straight away because obviously everyone's no, no. watching the no. this is what theme parks mainly rather than like experiences. Yeah. Like obviously Tuzzles an experience rather than like, like, yeah. Sea life maybe, but Tuzzles, obviously everyone's touching the mannequins. Yeah, even though, yeah, I don't, so I don't see that opening. Mind you, but yeah. I think the theme parks will be the first to open, and then experiences will be like, like Sea World and everything, and uh, Tuzzles, I think they'll, they'll be the last ones to open. Mm. Even with SeaWorld, there's a lot of people around, like close together to look at fish. You know? Yeah. How are, they, how are they going to social distance people in the lift in, up to uh, Blackpool Tower? That's if they even open Blackpool Tower. That's they might. I don't think they'll open it. No. Unless they do, a, like, say me and you went. Oh, like just a group up. Yeah. Do a group yeah. down. And I think if they do do that, they should. 
not do the theatre the pre show. Yeah, there's a name for it. The four D pre show. Close not. Close not. Okay. The four D pre show. Four D. Four D. Yeah, sure. Moving on. <laughs> uh, we advise some our standards and operating protocols. Uh, and the, uh, the they've adapted and suspended the experiences and facilities as well. Yeah, so like all the meeting groups, they're not having the games, interactive touch areas, touch pools, and props. So yeah, like the war parks, they'll, they'll be the very last ones to open. Actually, think about it. Merlin don't own many war parks. There's a, as far as I know, anyway, there's Special Land in, and there's one in Gardner Land, I think. And it's seen to their go. Um, but still, yeah. I think they'll be, they'll be the last ones. To yeah, I, they yeah. are really high risk areas, aren't they? Same with. Um, I don't know what I'm going to say there. Carry on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought something else in there. I guessed it. Right. Uh, PPE uh, is being introduced. Uh, uh, Land to clean the measures so they'll be cleaning a lot more often. Yeah. As well as increasing the washing stations and that lot. And if it does say they've also introduced a deep cleaning measure if anyone does have symptoms of it, that they will what that exactly means I'm not too sure, but mm. it's good that they put that system in there ready, just in case, I think. You would think that people use their common sense and not come. If they have symptoms, and then you just need to look at how people are acting during the lockdown. Never mind. Yeah, people can't follow a lockdown on some bases. So. Uh, we've introduced menu, new menu, menu offerings, uh, and enhanced grab and go self service salad bars being configured or closed. Uh, our employees, we as as with our employees, we politely request that all guests uphold the highest possible hygiene standards, whether it be sneezing, coughing, throughout regular and uh, regular the <laughs> regular regular hand washing. The one, yeah, that's it. It's basic stuff, really. I think you know. Okay. Sort of the sort of stuff that people should be doing anyway, but they've also changed a few things, such as like the grab and go food and plastic screen and everything. But they've done a few, you know, added bits. But all the rest should be common knowledge. Mm. So when do you think these are going to open then? Well, summer. Hmm. I'm not so sure. I don't. I think we'll go back into lockdown in a few weeks in in June. Yeah, when the, if we get a second peak, which could be highly likely, because we're we're already close to a lockdown anyway. Again, yeah. and with people going out more, it's, it's just bumping back up again. Bumping back up again. <laughs> <laughs> you can see my hand hands doing it. Yeah. It is going to be a very weird time. I think they'll keep these in there for probably a year or two, maybe until it's properly gone. I think. Yeah. And even then, I think they'll keep most of the stuff there. They'll just slowly just let things work and work ways out. Like if a screen breaks, I won't later. It kind of thing later on in the cycle. But they'll, they'll, it'll slowly phase itself out. Afterwards. Yeah. Um, I've just got a f feeling that I don't know. I don't. I just can't see things opening for summer. I, I I'm I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm hopeful. hopeful. Some I can't see it happening. Yeah, I'm hopeful that they'll open some. I think the theme park maybe not, but or what big social gathering areas. Not until. We're on, on the clear, I don't think, really, but 
it's good to see that they put these things in there ready for when they do open up. Them. Yeah. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Yes, I think that's it. As my camera is still slowly moving down. <laughs> so, don't bother writing down in the comments that my camera's moving because I, I know, I know it's moving. <laughs> it's right warm in here. Fun? Write down in the comments. <laughs> I just got an email from Merlin, Merlin Entertainment. <laughs> Netherland Florida resort to reopen to guests on the 1st of June. Oh, there you go. There you go. Hot off the emails. <laughs> I know. That, that can become any better timing. Literally. Yeah, that, that, that's the awesome. best. Do you think we go. Hmm? Go on. Do you think we'll see things push back like David Wayne World and Legoland are meant to be opening Lego Movie World next year? I think Lego Movie World uh, I reckon will be late next year if they do open it up. Yeah. Just because they haven't been able to make I'd say it might be pushed away actually the year after, just because of because of all this happening, there's not, not a lot of people working on things. So. No, and we don't even know. I don't even, I, I haven't seen any, I think, I, I think I've seen a little bit of construction, but not much before this. Yeah, I mean, I think things, all the schedules have been pushed back purely because yeah. thousands of people working on them. I do think David Ryan will be open though, because I think they're like a week off from opening. Mm. So I do think that will open. I, I reckon it won't open on the Sunday. They'll, they'll, they'll push it back a month. Yeah, I don't see it only straight away, but it could. I, I reckon it will be this year. We'll have to keep an eye out on it, just in case it does. Pardon? We'll have to keep an eye out in case it does. Yeah. Also, not not Merlin uh, related, but Poland Park have pushed back their investment for this year to Nodo Springs. Uh, which I understand. Um, there's no point rushing something to try and get it open when they want to do it perfect. Something else has been pushed back. They're going to move world at another park, I think, somewhere, I can't remember where, have been pushed back to 2021 as well. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it will be interesting. Right. Is that it? I can't think of anything else. I can't think of anything else to have. Just then on that home, just make sure you're observing the uh, lockdown rules in every general area and make sure to clean your hands for more than 20 seconds. And uh, stay, stay clean and safe in the usual. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to Eric and Jordan. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> right. We know, you you guys. Know how far I'm out of when we're not didn't realise. You know how far I'm you are out? Oh, yes. <laughs> you know where you're It is youtube.com forward slash Eric and Sean. Yes. Not that you need it because you're already on it, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to share our link now to all your yeah. friends and family. Right, so we're on. <laughs> Okay, that's Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye bye.